What's up, YouTube? So in this video, I'm only talking about Kylan Hill, uh, running back out of Mississippi State. So I do like him. Um, there was a particular play when I first started watching the film on him that really stood out. Uh, it was against LSU. Um, really early into the film, it was looking like LSU was about to blitz, was about to blitz him, and he actually pointed the blitz out to his quarterback. Uh, I think KJ Costello was behind center at the time. They they ended up benching him a couple times, but whatever. Uh, KJ Costello, not um, Hill. Um, but yeah, he pointed the blitz out to his quarterback. And he ended up being exactly right. It was the same players that were going to blitz him. And not only did he point it out, but once the ball was snapped, he ran up and smacked one of those linebackers in the chest and bought some time for his quarterback to scramble out. Uh of course, KJ Costello is kind of so-so, so it didn't go as well as it should have. But I, I like that he was able to do that. And he is a decent blocker as well. Um, so that, That's just something that was kind of interesting to me. Um, He did opt out after three games this year, but it's just something you got to deal with this year, unfortunately. Um, he is pretty decent at hurdling people. He's got some vertical to him. Um, and he's also not afraid to get dirty yards. He's not a particularly huge back. He's 5'11", about 2'15". Uh, so he's not small either. But um, but yeah, he's not afraid to get dirty yards. He's not af afraid to run behind his pads and power through somebody. Uh, and he's also a legitimate receiving threat as well out of the backfield. And sometimes they even put him out in the slot and stuff. Um, his balance is really good. He's shifty as hell. Uh, he will. He can definitely make you miss. He has legitimate game speed, um, and he has no recorded fumbles as far as I could see on his stat sheet. So he's fantastic. Um, he, I'm not sure exactly where I'd put him in my running back ranking yet. I'm still kind of debating on that, but I do think he's a day two guy uh, potentially. I mean, just depending on how the board falls, but I, probably later day two. Um, but again, it it just depends on how the board falls. He could be, I, I, regardless, it'll be day two. But like, I think it could be like late second round is what I'm saying. Like, I I like him. I like him a lot. Um, wouldn't mind him for Miami. He he's not the power back I'm necessarily looking for, but he has enough power to be worth it. Uh, d depending on, you know, what the board is looking like, he might be something we should take a look at. But yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.